Welcome to our review on selective breeding. So, first thing we need to know is what is selective breeding? Quite simply, when we're talking about selective breeding, we're talking about a process where humans are selecting certain organisms to breed together for their characteristics. So you might be picking the two cows that have the most meat on them to obviously make an offspring that has lots of meat. So that then provides better characteristics. We can also do this with crops as well, because when we think about what people need from their crop plants, then we need ones that are going to give us a high yield, so they're going to produce a large amount of that particular material. We need them to be resistant to, to disease, so that obviously they don't die off easily. We don't want them to break in the wind, because otherwise as soon as we've got a slight breeze, our plant would all die. We need them to be resistant to certain weather conditions like drought, flood, frost, all of these things. We want them to taste good, because if plants don't taste good, no one's going to eat them. We want them to have a long shelf life, which basically means they're not going to start rotting before they're actually at home. And we want them to contain the required nutrients. So the actual process that we need to carry out here to produce a selectively bred plant is we start off with our parent plants, and we're going to pick the ones that have our desired characteristics. We will then crossbreed those two plants by transferring the pollen from one to the other, and then we'll wait until they produce seeds. We'll collect those seeds and grow them. Once they've grown, then we're going to again go through that process of selecting the offspring that have the characteristics we want. And again, we're going to breed those together by transferring the pollen from one plant to another, wait till they produce their seeds, collect the seeds and grow them. So what we actually find then is we've got a process here that can be carried out with both plants and animals, always in that same way of selecting organisms for their characteristics, breed them together, and then obviously select their offspring that have got the characteristics, let them breed together over a long period of time. There are some disadvantages to selective breeding though. Number one, it takes a long time to go through this process of selecting and breeding and selecting and breeding over and over again. We will also reduce the variation in the population. If we're only selecting certain characteristics, we run the risk of losing other beneficial ones as well. And in that same vein, we may also end up increasing the number of recessive characteristics that are harmful to the organism. Normally they'd be quite dilute within a population, but if we're selecting certain individuals over and over again, we could see those harmful recessive characteristics accumulating.